Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. So today what I want to talk to you guys about is cannabis and paranoia. I get a lot of comments about um, people having experiences with cannabis where it causes them par to feel paranoid, have paranoid feelings. And you know, just feeling like they're looking over their shoulder <laughs> and nothing's there. Um, I want to talk further about that. I've had kind of those experiences um, myself in the past, in the way, way past. Um, so yeah, I want to talk a little bit more about that. And before we get into that, I'm smoking on some Durban Poison right here. And you can see that good. And I got my bamboo pipe going. Yeah. Hope you guys are having a great day. And hope you guys uh, catch the show I just did about cannabis in ancient Egypt. I did a little bit of research on that, so you might enjoy that video. <clears throat> so, all right, cheers, guys. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, my experience with cannabis and paranoia was a long time ago. It was about when I was 27, I'm 43 now, so when I was about 27, I um, tried cannabis for the first time. The first time I tried it was wonderful, spiritual experience. You can look at the vi past videos I have, you know, a video talking about that. Or I can make another one explaining my first time if you want. But yeah, the first time, very first time was a beautiful experience, very spiritual. Um, the second time I had it, which... I was, at the time, I was smoking cannabis on the weekends only. Um, I had, I just was really, really scared. You know, I was really feeling like, whoa, this is too much, you know? I felt like, not like my head's going to explode, but I just felt like, I don't know, I felt like my heart was palpitating, was going really fast, beating really fast, and I couldn't really think on just like focus on one thing. I was overwhelmed. <laughs> so after years later, because like after I had that experience, I was like, I'm never smoking again. <laughs> There's no way, this is just a sign or something. <laughs> but like at that time, I didn't have regular access to cannabis. Like I said, only get it. I'd only smoke on the weekends, and you know, you know how expensive cannabis can be <laughs> if you're buying it from you know somebody. You know, even dispensaries can be a little pricey. But anyway, that's another story. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just I just felt like I wasn't gonna smoke again ever. And then I smoked again uh, not too long after that experience, and I was just fine. So here's the thing that I've noticed just from personal experience, it has a lot to do with the strain. With the strain. Everybody has a strain that fits them. <laughs> Not everybody can smoke the same strains because each strain is designed for a specific body, for a specific personality, it seems. In my experience with this herb, I mean, I've noticed that. Like certain strains that are high in sativa, they can make my heart just go really like like it's gonna pop out of my chest if I smoke too much of it so that's what you have to be aware of and also if you you said you, if you say that you've tried cannabis and it made you paranoid what kind of situation were you in what kind of atmosphere who was around you were you at a party with lots of people pressuring you to smoke a lot like you know a party game or something were you um, drinking alcohol? Were you doing any other um, intoxicants? Do you have opioids in your system? All of these play a factor in why you might feel paranoid after smoking. God. 
So yeah. There are many strains out there. Some of them can be more... I don't know how to say it, but some of them can be more... Uh, I just have, I have experienced it with indica that, I mean not with sativa, that it can raise my heart level, my heart rate, if I smoke too much of it, and it can make me feel like I need to go really, really fast when my body really can't go that fast. So, um, if something like that happens to you where you smoke for the first time, or you just, or it's not for the first time, you smoked a strain and it f makes you feel like, oh, like someone's watching me or whatever, this is what I suggest. If you have, uh, if possible, if you have like a cup of chamomile tea or what Celestial Seasonings has is Sleepy Time Extra, which has valerian in it, you can try just going outside and smoking, I mean, and drinking a cup of tea just to just mellow out, get outside of nature. If possible, you know, get your feet onto the earth and maybe sit against a tree. Trees are, are well known for uh, helping to heal and to calm you down and to keep you grounded. And that's what I've experienced. I've had that problem when I've had too many edibles where I felt like I'm going to, you know, sh my soul is going to shoot out of my body <laughs> or something. You know, that kind of feeling. And it's not going to happen, but it's more of a mental thing where you're feeling that way. Maybe that could be your experience. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trip out about it. A lot of people will rush off to the hospital, <clears throat> which is their choice. I'm not saying not to do that. Um, a lot of times, too, some people can get something, like, slipped inside of their cannabis along with it. They may not be great. Um, I, a friend of mine told me about an experience she had where she thought that they put, someone put T PCB in with her, uh, with her cannabis, and that's why she never wanted to smoke it again, because she went and made her feel crazy. So someone was very deceptive and just horrible by doing something like that to someone. So yeah, thank you for joining me today. I just wanted to do this video on cannabis and paranoia, because it's something that needs to be discussed. and. Think about what you're putting in your body, really, before you put it in there. Um, if you get a strain that's like really just too much, I suggest if you're just starting to smoke, have a tiny bit, have a little bit, just a tiny chunk, and then try it and see how your body feels. Let Give it like five minutes and feel how you feel. And then if that works for you, then go right ahead. But um, don't feel like you have to like, I don't know. Don't feel like you have to like smoke all of it because you bought this and you know, I gotta smoke it, but just like take your time with it and really feel how it feel makes you feel. Um, yeah, before you just go, oh shit, that the cannabis, it just makes people paranoid. It's not, that's not true. It's not all strains that do that. And like I said, there's a strain for everyone <laughs> if they want to I mean it's not like I'm promoting get out there and buy all these strains and <laughs> what I'm whew, what I'm promoting is like education educating yourself about what it is you put in your body um, there's so many strain reviews out there online like WikiLeaf I like that one um, where before you buy the strain, you can read more about it. And then when you go to your dispensary and ask one of your uh, bud tenders, they can tell you about it in detail. So, yeah, nothing to worry about. You're more likely to die off of opioids than you are from cannabis, so just keep that in mind <laughs> when you're feeling paranoid. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave them down below. And if you have any questions, ask them about cannabis. And I can make a show out of it, possibly for next week. Alrighty, guys. See you soon. Peace.